These people have gathered to serve their gods. They are about to begin a week-long ritual to please the spirits who have been served by their family for generations. If these spirits are neglected for too long, they may bring harm instead of help to the family. So now, with prayers and song, music and dance, food offerings and animal sacrifice, the gods will be served one after another until all have been satisfied. <coughs> A service like this is held only once every 20 to 30 years by each family. It is the most serious and the most festive act of worship in their religion. are united. For the family gods have been served on the same piece of land for many generations. It is the same land that the family's original ancestor once lived on. The gods, called Loa, are each served at a specific spot on this land, perhaps a tree or a brook, or the entrance way to the ancestor's house. These gods, like the land itself, are inherited, passed down from parent to child through the generations. Each family has its own loa, and the same loa served by one's ancestors must be served by one's descendants as well. It is an obligation, as well as a birthright, to keep the family spirits content. If the Loire are to be kept content, they must be given the things that they enjoy. Food, drink, music, and dance. The Loire are actually able to attend the service and partake of these offerings by temporarily assuming human form. Through the phenomenon of possession, the Loire enter and use the bodies of those who serve them to attend the ceremony and enjoy the festivities. planning and preparing for this event for several years. The service will last eight days and will be composed of several simple ceremonies, each one for a different family loire. The service begins at night and ends one week later, when all of the gods have been satisfied. Vous <laughs> 